Jeffrey Gamer is not responsible for your game files. All mods in this tutorial have been tested and work properly. I strongly advise you back up your files as shown in this video in case you make any mistakes. I advise you watch the full video before installing any mods. Thanks. What is going on, amazing, beautiful people? Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is back at you with another Stream Deck 5M GTA if you're a content creator tutorial. And today, guys and gals, um, I had a request from Zach, uh, Zach3267. Um, I told him I would do a video showing how to put sounds into your stream deck as well as be able to use them within your game, whether it's GTA, whether it's 5M or anything like that. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So the first thing I want to do is I want to bring up my stream deck. Okay, this is my stream deck with not all my sounds, but I have I have most of my sounds uh, right here. Um, you know, I've got the, the Taco Bell sound. Um, there's Fester sound right there. Um, there's the How About No. How about no? So, if, if I play any of these sounds right now off of my stream deck, right, none of them are going to be heard in the game with other people. And I'll, I'll, I'll explain to you what I mean about that later. Uh, so, here's your stream deck. I got a couple of empty spaces right here. And this is what we're going to use, okay? Uh, down below, I have a couple of websites listed. Uh, one is going to be 101soundboards.com, and the other one is one of my favorites. It's going to be uh, My Instance, and they, they do a lot of meme um, sounds. Now, you can see what's trending. You can uh, search, for instance, my soprano sounds that I have. I can just type in sopranos. And... You know, it's got take it easy. It's got a bunch of sounds right from the Sopranos uh, Again, you can go to trending and you can see what all the meme Bruh. You know all the meme sounds that they have sensor beep um, Sin. Now I will Sin City was Oh, some of them are very loud. I, I will say that. Some of them, be careful. Some of them are very loud. And also, some of them, if you're a content creator or a streamer, uh, some of these sounds, if played for 10 or 11 seconds or more, will get you a copyright strike on your video. So be very mindful of that when you play uh, the button on your stream deck if you're streaming or recording content, okay? So let's say we wanted to... Uh, um, let's say we wanted to use the bra. Bruh. Pretty simple, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to that. We're going to click the, uh, the word bra. If you saw where I clicked, because if Bruh. you click the button, it's just going to play. So you're going to click down here or you could click down here, but I just click right here and then download MP3 and it downloads very quickly, right? So once you got it downloaded, I'm going to minimize that. You got your, your stream deck out. Uh, if I bring up my file explorer and i go to my downloads button right my downloads tab and you're gonna see it right here it's movie one if we look it's movie one right so in my downloads tab there's the movie one now i have a sounds folder because i like to clean out my downloads folder from time to time so if i take this movie one i like to switch it to my sounds folder if you don't have a sounds folder you can just create one on your desktop by hitting right click uh right click save Okay, so we got that we got that moved into the sounds. Okay, we got movie one in there, right? There it is right there. Now over here in the stream deck, if I go to right here under soundboard, if I go to play audio, and if I drag that over here and drop it in, it's going to bring up, you know, this little information down here. Uh, now what I do, what I like to do is I have... I've got what's called a black fill, and I use this for so many things. It's great to have. Um, it's just a black fill that you can take and you can drag it down here. You can put pretty much anything down there. You can go online and you can uh, you can go to Google and type in bra and then go to images, and it'll have you know this stuff right here. So what you could do is you could like take this, right click, and save it, right? And just save it and then what you could do is again you can go to your downloads folder 
Uh, not your downloads folder. Where did I save that to? What was that? And what was the name of that? MV, right? So uh, what I could do is I think it's saved in here. So I can go down to MV. Did it not save in here? Oh, I got to refresh this. There we go. Recent files. There it is right there. So I could like drag that to my desktop. So there we go. I could bring that to my desktop or I could just drag it right here and it'll copy right in there. You see that? So now that button says bra, right? So now we know that's our bra button. Bra. Um, okay, so uh, once you, you know, once you got that figured out, you could also just take your black fill, drop it in there and you could type bra in right there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the file section right here, this file section, and you're gonna click those three dots and you're gonna go to sounds. You're gonna go to where you just dropped that sound effect. Remember ours was called movie, uh, movie one right there. So if I click that and then click open, that sound is now in there. Now it'll name it movie one or it'll name it whatever it's, whatever the download name is. You can just get rid of that right here and you can go bra and what you could do is you could hit this little t and you can make the wording in there in here you can make it bigger um you can go here you can change the color of it um you can even change the font of it right and you can make it so it's above below or i usually just put it right in the middle okay once you do that your action is, is gonna be to play and stop it. Don't fade it, cause the fade will sound weird and I'll show you what I mean. So, and always turn your volume up right here. Turn your volume up. So now if I hit my bra button. Bruh. Now watch when it's got the fade. Er, fade in. See that? Fade out. Bruh. Well, fade out didn't really matter, but I like to just keep it on no fade, unless it's like a long intro song that's not gonna get you copyrighted. I might put a fade on it and I'll put right here. Now, this is the cool part, right? This is the cool part. This is where if you have a third party uh, app program, for instance, the Go XLR, okay, or the soundboard, the voice mod, okay? whatever you pick if it's the voice mod this is a free one right here voice mod is free i do believe there's a free trial obviously the go xlr this is a you know you got to purchase the the machine to use this but let's say let's say we're going to use the my go xlr so um you would select either system for go xlr now, if I hit it, Bruh. it's still gonna play. My stream is still gonna hear it, right? Um, or if it's, I don't know, it might be the chat one as well. I think it's the chat one. If I have that set as the chat one, right? So again, I'll hit it. My stream's gonna hear it. You can still hear it. But if I go into like Grand Theft Auto and I want people to hear, uh, and I want other people to hear it, you know, within the game, within uh, Silver Lining Roleplay or any 5M server, uh, I'm going to show you what you're going to want to do. All right, so we got the sound in. The sound is in. All this is good. Um, that, that's how you do it. That's simply how you do it. You just use this play audio, drop it in. Once you drop it in, you're going to fill this stuff out right here. You're going to see, you're going to put what you want the output to go to. All right. And... Uh, let's minimize this. Let's minimize this. Let me bring this back over here and let me bring up my Grand Theft Auto. So in my Grand Theft Auto, if I hit my pause menu, right, I hit my pause menu and let's, why is my controller not working? That's okay. We'll not worry about that right now. Um, if we go over to settings, and then we go down to voice chat right here. You see how it says chat mic and system TC. I want to put it. I want to put it through. Um, I want to. Sorry. I. I you want to make sure that these are set up 
to whatever third party program you're using to make it so that others can hear you, right? If you don't have the voice mod or the Go XLR or any third party uh, app that will translate those sounds for you, if you hit the sounds and you're standing in front of me in a 5M server, I'm not going to hear it. Your stream will hear it. Your desktop will hear it if you're recording, but I will not hear it. So if you have that third party, go XLR voice mod, and you have your input and output device set to that. See, I can change this and I could set it to, uh, I could set it to my voice mod right there, vir voice mod virtual audio line, right? But I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna keep it at the system right there because I use my Go XLR, right? So if, if, if I want others in the server to hear my sound, I'm gonna put it in the input device, okay? In the chat mic. So again, when you bring up your, your sound, I want it to be in the chat. Why? So if I hit my push to talk button in Silver Lining or any 5M server, if I hit my push to talk and then hit that button, then people in front of me or within voice proximity of me will hear it. For instance, I had a dangle video and in that da or, or dangle came into Silver Lining Roleplay and in that video, dangle farted, okay? So what I did was, is I pushed my push to talk and I hit this button right here, right? So because it's being sent through my Go XLR, my Go XLR will send it and push it through, um, no pun intended, <laughs> will push it through so that other people in the game can hear it. You need a third party app to kind of make it. I think you do. I could be wrong. This is just how I learned. This is what I know. Um, so that's how you want to do it. It all depends on where you have um, on where you have your output going through this right here if you just have it going through your headphones and that it's not it's not going to work okay you have to send it through a third party voice mod go xlr i don't know there's probably a ton of third party apps out there i wouldn't know the names of them i use the go xlr um so that is it ladies and gentlemen and if you don't like a sound if you don't like a sound you just delete it and boom it's gone um so that is it uh zach i hope this helped you and I hope it helped you as well. If you're new here and you like what you've seen and you feel undeserving, please consider supporting the channel by hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell. Um, and consider giving the video a thumbs up. The more thumbs up this video gets, the more people it can reach and teach just like it did with you. Until next time, everybody, be safe, be healthy, be positive, follow the rules, and obey the law. Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is out. Later, y'all.